1 Corinthians 15, 58, stand firm, let nothing move you. Now, when you first hear those words, you may be thinking flashback to the playground in school when the bully came along and was about to bully you and everyone said, stand firm, let nothing move you. And then you discovered he was twice your size and his fist moved you, moved you straight to the ground. That's not what we're talking about today. In fact, a lot of times when you have known adversaries or villains or people that are trying to attack you, it's easier to stand firm sometimes then because you know what you're fighting. However, today, sometimes we face invisible foes in the middle of a pandemic, uh, viruses going around. You really don't know what the outcome will be. You're unsure about the future. And sometimes you're not willing to stand firm on the promises that have been made to you. So today, to illustrate that, I have three ropes. We have a, a short rope, we have a medium-sized rope, and we have a long rope. Now, in order to illustrate that, I'm going to teach you a magic trick. In order to fool somebody or trick someone, you basically take these good solid ropes and just reach down and bring the bottoms up to the tops. And when you get the bottoms up to the tops, they're all about the same size and length except for the hanging down part, we'll tuck that in. And so now you don't know if they're different sizes or different shapes or different lengths. You just, they all look the same. So we're gonna take the bottoms and simply pull the bottoms down. And so you have all three ropes now, the short, the medium, and the long, and they're all basically the same size and the same length. <laughs> that becomes confusing. So you don't know what to stand on. So what we're going to do is basically pull one of them out. Let's say, let's pull this one out right here. Okay. We're going to pull this one out right here. We're going to pull this one out right here. And we're going to pull all of these out. And so we have now all three ropes are different lengths again. Now that's confusing. And life gets confusing to you. So I encourage you, 1 Corinthians 15, 38, stand firm. Do not be moved. Allow God. Draw on that resource that sometimes is we don't take advantage of. God's spirit with us, his promises. Allow him to fill you up, give you strength and courage for an often uncertain future. But we know our future is secure in him. God bless you. Have a great day.